Buildings are traditionally rigid and stationary, but in the future, those made with a shape memory polymer could change form and expand with changes in temperature. Researchers at Barcelona's Institute of Advanced Architecture have laid the foundations with an origami prototype building that bends and twists at high temperatures. Researchers were looking for a material with the ability to shapeshift and remember its initial form. Well, we were trying to find the exact material which could change the face from a rubbery state to the solid state, which could act as a structural element in the uh, building. We came up with this new material. The project, known as Translated Geometries, uses triangular tiles to make up the origami structure. The team can then create movement at each correcting point or node of the construction. We know we, we didn't build the thing. By heating each specific node, we can soften the material and then by pulling or pushing it will determine what the final outcome is. And then upon cooling again, it holds the new shape. So right now this is cool and hard and it's not going to move, but when we re-soften it, it can easily be transformable. The polymer is heated directly using electric wires. Once the temperature passes 62 degrees Celsius, it becomes elastic, allowing the building to bend and twist. Drones attached to the structure by wires fly around it and stretch it into the desired position. They then hold the structure in the new shape for two minutes while it cools down. We can take our houses with us, as the animals are doing in nature, and we can uh, transform it according to what we need, whether it is uh, a bigger family, then we need to expand our house, or whether we need more transparency and translucency because of light and because of outside temperature. So our house would be able to adapt to that. And um, we can even take our, our house in our pocket and then unfold it and create a three-dimensional structure. While we're unlikely to see entire buildings like the translated geometries prototype in the near future, the principle could be applied to parts of an overall structure. It was the plight of Syrian refugees which inspired design student James Roberts' final year university project, a low-cost incubator to save the lives of premature babies with traditional incubators costing around 40,000 euros. His solution, an inflatable incubator, easy to clean and compact, costing around 300 euros to produce and deliver. It's basically an insulator piece of air, so it's like the difference between double and single glazing, so it's easier to keep the inside at a stable heat environment, heat temperature. The actual size of the incubator can be very small when it's compressed, the inflatable it goes to that. So that saves money on uh, shipping costs especially. So you don't need a whole crate in an airplane. Instead you can put this in already used care packages and then just ship them out there. So it's a lot cheaper. Robert says he's received an extremely positive reaction from aid organisations, but while some are ready to place orders, he needs more time to develop his prototype.